what will happen after this uh, 26 November 2018 on that as well. So if you are a new student who is planning to come to New Zealand uh, after 26 November 2018, uh, or if you are uh, is if you are wanting to get a three years post study work visa, you will need to study either a level seven bachelor's or a level eight uh, postgraduate diploma or a level nine master's or a level 10 PhD. That is the requirement in future after the policy change occurs for you guys to be able to uh, get the three year post study work visa. If you are planning to come for a level, level seven graduate diploma and you're planning to study outside Auckland, then you will be eligible for a two years post study work visa. If you are planning to come for a level seven graduate diploma and in Auckland, you'll be eligible for a one year post study work visa. If you are planning to come uh, and do a graduate diploma in Auckland, and you also need to have, uh, you have a requirement to get a registration from a professional body or a trade body, then there is a likelihood you'll get a one plus one post study work visa. So it's all still, you know, a little fluid and there's still a lot of uh, things. It took me like a good couple of hours yesterday to sit and understand the whole thing and work through it. But uh, I'm beginning to make sense as well. So today, guys, I'm still kind of, you know, I'm doing a live session and also kind of trying to interpret the, the laws that are open as three PDFs in front of me and talking to you guys. So, uh, you know, as, as the days keep progressing, it will keep developing. But as of today, this is my interpretation of this laws and it is looking very, very good and very positive for New Zealand. And I think uh, it was going to help us a lot in our international education sector.